All right, everybody, here in the KWA USA booth, SHOT Show 2012, with Alan, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, just Alan. Okay, just Alan. Sorry, not, it's not the other Alan. It's the wrong Alan. And Alan's uh, here. We're going to be kind of running through the, the paces, I guess, of all the new product, and you guys have been busy. Oh, right. Uh, but I'm seeing things that look very different on the wall. So kind of can you run through what, what you have new for us? Well, uh, first one. We announced the ATP last year, SHOT Show. Uh, now, we released the ATP, the standard one, uh, since September. And now we just announced that the full auto. Full auto? Full auto. Oh, no way. Uh, yes way. So yeah, it basically is the, like the old model that I cannot name the gun. It has a semi and full auto feature. So you get the same grips, everything, just exactly. the addition exactly. of the full, yeah, full, auto, full auto features. That is. That's awesome. So price point on that, any different? Uh, obviously uh, a little bit more? It's going to be a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to be too much more. Uh, it's obviously, you already know the price point for one, uh, for the standard ATP, so it's going to be just a little bit more for that gun. Okay, and release date on that one? I believe it's going to be first quarter this year. Oh, wow, so soon. All right, so what else do we have? Um, I, now, couple, this one caught my eye. Yeah, I know. A couple of years ago, we actually released a NS2 version of the 1911. Uh, however, we discontinued that model and bring out the, the Mark series, the MK series. Now, the MK series, the magazine is not compatible with the old system uh, because that was kind of like a test run for the NS2. So now we re-released this uh, 1911 with a, well, a new finish. Which is kind of a, a satiny matte kind yeah, of look. It is. And then, um, then the magazine right now is, uh, com is compatible with the, uh, the Mark series. Okay, so my existing Mark that I own, I can just take the magazine out, put it in here and still use right. it. And are you going to have a, a similar, like a standard 1911 Colt style, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't use the, the company that starts with the C, um, <laughs> style magazine that's flush? Yes, correct, it's flush. It comes with the, the one that doesn't have the bumper on it. I like the engravings on that. That is nice. Well, all right, so what else we have next? Uh, seen, the, seen the compact before, right? Yeah, this is nothing new. Uh, well, new, new, but it's, going to, it's coming. So there's a, basically it's a compact Smith & Wesson style gun. Uh, this is also coming very soon. Okay, so I'm not going to go too, spend too much time on this one. Yeah, we actually, I think we looked at the early, yes. early prototype last year yes. here at the SHOT Show of that one. Correct. Now, uh, same thing, the, the Makarov, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Togarov, the TD-33. So this is also coming first quarter as well. Okay. Now, since we're making this, we have to make the Makarov. Of, of course, and that, that's the one that also caught my eye. I was like, ooh, 1911 right. Army and then the, the Makarov. So it is the Makarov uh, with the uh, working, oops, hold on. The, with the working decock. Wow, that's nice. Exactly, so this is also coming very soon. I don't have a date on this one yet, but it's a uh, work in progress, yes. prototype. So hopefully maybe by next SHOT Show we'll have the no, one coming out? it's going to come out sometime this year. We'll oh, wow. This year. 